county could stop jail overcrowding and the practice of releasing its inmates early if it reopens a dorm that closed last year. Now, those are some of the findings of a grand jury that looked at the state of the Multnomah County Correction System. Jennifer Dowling took a look at that report. She's live outside the sheriff's office with more on those findings. Jennifer? Good evening. There are more than 100 beds in the jail sitting vacant right now, and the grand jury feels if about half of those were opened up, that's the best way to protect the public. It's an ongoing story, and it's something that you see in the news uh, all the time, like the 90-year-old woman that was, was beat up downtown. David Potts has been following the case of Philbert Gassinia. He was accused of punching an elderly woman after she tried to walk by him while he was urinating in public. He was one of more than 100 inmates released early due to jail overcrowding. I think everyone feels probably more unsafe than than the facts might bear out. A corrections grand jury made up of seven citizens looked into what could be done better at the jail. Part of the focus was on how to stop those early releases. Since 2015, we've lost 118 beds. The jail has plenty of empty beds available, but no money dedicated to run them. Two dorms were closed from 2015 to 2017 to save money. Jail overcrowding resulted and triggered the early emergency release of inmates through a matrix system. In April, the sheriff's office said more than 160 had been let go from jail early. They also agree that um, refunding those 59 beds could help us keep those who need to stay in custody. The grand jury report says testimony indicated that if the 59-person dorm that was cut in 2017 was reinstated, many of the concerns would be alleviated. It goes on to say, until more mental health services are available for those prisoners who need it, the 59 beds that were defunded in 2017 need to be reinstated. We feel like we're not listened to, and uh, the story you hear is that there's there's not enough money for it, and what do you do? We also received a statement from Chair Deborah Kafuri of the County Commission. She says that although uh, she agrees there's an issue with jail beds, she says every dollar that's spent on those beds is a dollar that can't be spent on mental health treatments and other issues. She did not recommit uh, to giving money to reopen that dorm. Back to you. Coming up next, Senator Ron Wyden is joining us live.